how to connect with the healing anointing for your healing and restoration. Luke chapter number 4. I will read quickly from verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind. He has sent me to set a liberty to those who are bruised and oppressed and crushed. He has sent me to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Then he closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. Eyes of all who we are there, we are fixed on him. And he began to say to them, today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. So all bore witness to him and marveled at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, is this not Joseph's son? He said to them, you will surely say this proverb to me. Physician, hear yourself. Whatever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in your country. Then he said to them, as surely I said to you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you, many widows who were in Israel in the days of, jo of Elijah, where the heaven was shut up three years and six months, and there was a great famine throughout all the land. But to none of them was Elijah sent except to Zarephath, in the region of Sidon, to a woman who was a widow, whom God commanded to give to Elijah, who obeyed, received Elijah, housed Elijah, fed Elijah, and prayed for him. God took care of her. Many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elisha the prophet, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. So all in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with anger. And they rose and thrust him out of the city and led him to the brow of the hill on which the city was built, that they might throw him down over the cliff. Then passing through the midst of them, he went his way. Jesus left Nazareth, where he grew up, where he was sent by God to meet their needs, to set them free from poverty, to heal their sick, to set free their captives, to open the eyes of their blind, to deliver them, liberate them who we have been oppressed, to bless those who were laboring without resource, those who were struggling as slaves, imprisoned by their evil, cruel masters. Those who were left and turned without resource, he went there to give them the favor of God that would change their stories. Yet, in spite of the anointing Christ was sent with, the people rejected him. He's not this, Joseph son, the carpenter. We know him. That's the problem. Sometimes you look at ministers of the gospel, you look down them. That's your undoing. Until you begin to value those who God has sent, you will have no value in this life. Quote me. If you live in a country and you are president sends his gate man to you, you will welcome that gate man. Why? Because of your president that sent him. When you hear a man of God is sent, please don't talk with that. If you are not sure if that man of God who is alleging or claiming is sent, is sent, ask God. If you can talk to God, ask him, did you send this man? If he says yes, to you, you know how God talks to you, if you hear from God, please honor that person. Receive him. That will be your greatest investment. It will change your life forever. God sent Elijah to the widows of Israel. They didn't bother about hearing and obeying God. So God sent Elijah to a widow who lived in Zarephath. She had God commanding her to give, to receive that prophet house that prophet, give to that prophet. She obeyed, and that was all she did. The famine did not affect her and her household. They didn't suffer. They lived well all through the period until the famine ended. Many widows in Israel died as widows, died in poverty, died suffering lack and want. So also, the lepers who were Israeli lepers, they died in their lepers. But Naaman came from Syria, heard the word of the prophet, obeyed the word, and he was cleansed. The choice is yours. The people of Nazareth heard Christ. Instead of receiving him and saying, okay, if God wants us free, please help us. They were angry because they felt they knew his father, which they, did, which they never knew. They felt they knew his background, and they were wrong. Jesus Christ left them and walked away. Jesus left them and walked away. Jesus left them and walked away. Now let's look at 
Mark chapter number 6. I will read from verse 54. Mark chapter 6 from verse 54 to verse 56. Jesus was rejected in his hometown of Nazareth. He was rejected. Let me read from verse 1. Mark chapter 1 from verse 1 to verse 6. Then he went out from there and came to his own country. And disciples followed him. And when he, the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many hearing him were astonished, saying, Where did this man get these teachings? And what wisdom is this which is given to him that such mighty works are performed by signs? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. You see that? Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor, except in his own country, among his own relatives, and in his own house. Now, he could do no mighty work there in Nazareth, except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. Then he went about the villages in a secret teaching. Quickly, verse 54. Verse 54. Hear the word. Let me start from verse 53. When they had crossed over, the Bible says he went in secular teaching. When they had crossed over, they came to the land of Genesaret and anchored there. And when they came out of the boat, immediately the people recognized him. He was not recognized in Nazareth. Here, in Gennesaret, the people recognized him. And they ran through that whole surrounding region and began to carry about on beds those who were sick to wherever they heard he was. Wherever he entered, into villages, into cities, or in the country, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might just touch the hem of his garment. And as many as touched him, we are made well. We are perfectly made whole. We are healed completely. They recognized him in Gennesaret. In Nazareth, they despised him. If you want to connect with the healing anointing, please hear me. Receive his messenger. Receive his servant. If you are not sure, ask him. This one, did you send him? This one, did you send him? If he says yes, receive them. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet cannot lose his reward. What is the reward? By a prophet, he saved Israel out of Egypt. By a prophet, they were preserved Healthy, wealthy, strong, all through their wilderness journey until they enter the promised land. By a prophet, you see signs and wonders. God wrote special miracles through Jesus. God performed miracles through Moses. Everyone God sent has always been an instrument in the hand of God to change the story of those who believe and receive them. May you never walk in doubt. Grace to receive the ones he has sent. Receive that grace today. He sent me to stop anything after man's destruction. You can't hear me and have any work of the devil mess you up. It's impossible. Kanwa, elabara, kratani kupali, ekwade, menya, telikrakate, mrakapane, kondolu kasiradi. You cannot receive me. And not see the hand of God visibly made manifest in your life. I pray to God for you. Stop doubting God. If you believe human beings, believe God. If you believe, if you receive people that are sent by men, receive those that God has sent. You will see the hand of God without prayer. You will see the hand of God without prayer. You will see the anointing of the Holy Ghost without prayer. You are going to witness miracles, wonders, and signs without prayer. In Acts 2:22. Jesus was approved 
as his messenger by God through the miracles and the wonders and signs which God who sent him did by him among the people. When you receive the messenger, the one who sent him will back up all he says and you are going to see divine manifestations of the miraculous, of wonders and signs in your life. Stop doubting God. Stop questioning God. Ask him, did you send, I am talking to you, ask the Lord, did he, did he send this boy? My name is Ambassador Promise of Wonder, named by the Lord. Ask him, did you send this one who is claiming you sent him? Ask him questions. If you hear from God, he will talk to you. If he says no, don't bother listening to, my, to me. Don't bother listening. You don't have to waste your time. You don't have two lives, only one. Don't waste it. If he tells you, I didn't send him, please don't waste your data. Don't waste your time listening to me. But if he tells you, I sent him, he's my, he's my ambassador. Please receive me as you would receive him. Whatever you know you can do for him, do it for me. Whatever you know you can give to him, if you see physically, give it to me. Listen, you won't need any prayer to experience the strangest order of miracles in your life, in your business, in your career, in your profession, in anything that concerns you, in any area of life. Mark today's date. Write it down and tell what I'm telling you. Receive his messenger. That's all. You have received him. He that received you, received me. He that received me, Jesus said, received God. If you receive his messenger, you have received both Jesus Christ and the Father. I want to show you. And if you receive them, listen, all your problems that they can handle will be dealt with without your praying for them. Be free. Live and not die in Jesus' precious name. Amen. See you in our next video. Peace.